The Hollywood strikes are finally over, but during this historic time that lasted over 100 days, many, many things happened, from little Sebastian joining the picket lines to a big Hollywood actor threatening to burn someone's house. Join me as I list the strangest things that occurred during the actors' and writers' strikes. America's sweetheart turned into a scab. Drew Barrymore faced a major controversy this year amid the ongoing Hollywood writer strikes when she announced that her TV show will be going back on air with no writers at all. Despite the show host not violating any WGA rules because different rules apply to variety shows, the Drew Barrymore show still employs WGA writers and that meant that she was crossing the picket line and just being a major a-hole done right. This led to a fierce industry and public backlash compelling the famous Nepo Baby to issue a public apology video. I've been through so many ups and downs in my life. And this is one of them. Out May strikes at 93. 93 year old Tony Award winner Rosemary Harris, perhaps best known for playing Aunt May Tobey Maguire's Spider Man movies, show her support to her fellow SAG-AFTRA members by slinging her way into the picket line outside Netflix headquarters back in July. While in New York, she made a strong statement that everyone, no matter how old or young, should be joining forces to fight for better rights. A true real-life superhero. Spider-Man will be proud. The motherfucker who said we're gonna keep this thing going until people start losing their houses and their apartments. Hellboy threatens to burn down a Hollywood CEO's house. Ron Perman went full Hellboy mode after learning about an executive who claimed that they were going to prolong the strike until union members start losing their apartments and homes. There's a lot of ways to lose your house. Some of it is financial, some of it is karma, and some of it is just figuring out who the fuck said that. And we know who said that. And where he fucking lives. There's a lot of ways to lose your house. So he released a video to social media threatening that CEO's house. Yikes. Immediately, fans began speculating on who said that, and the person who stands out the most is Disney Plus CEO Bob Iger, who is reportedly in a high enough position to make those claims, and his salary is the $27 million per month he's seen talking about in the video. So, do you think that's who he is? Well, maybe we'll never know. Gone. It's out of here. It's Universal has been fined by the city of Los Angeles after trees were trimmed near the location where the actors and writers have been picketing during the ongoing strikes. The issue sparked controversy after several trees were cut near the Lakeside Drive and Barham Boulevard location, eliminating all shade and protection from the sun. A very asshole movie, you ask me. The company was fined the earth sharing quantity of $250, the highest amount allowed by law for a first time offense, highlighting just how unjust consequences are to large American corporations. Scabby the Rat makes an appearance at the strikes. For decades, a giant inflatable rat with beady eyes, sharp teeth, and a big belly has loomed over union protests, drawing attention to various labor disputes. And of course, Scabby the Rat makes an appearance in this conflict. The giant rat was seen at the picket line near the HBO and Amazon's office in New York City. The funny thing is, Scabby may not even be the largest rat in the Big Apple. So I have a surprise. And it is possibly the best thing to potentially ever happen to anyone, anywhere in the history of the universe. Ladies and gentlemen, the world famous Lil Sebastian. What? Yes! No. Oh my god! Hey. <laughs> Lil Sebastian joined the picket line. In a move ripped right out of Parks and Rec playbook, members of the cast reunited on the Sagaftra picket lines, and they brought with them the greatest mini horse in the history of America, or at least in the history of Little Pony. Yes, we're talking about Little Sebastian. Also joining Little Sebastian were the other members of the cast, marking the first large-scale Parks and Recreation reunion since 2020, when the full cast reunited for a special film entirely on Zoom to raise money for Feeding America's COVID-19 response fund. The little mini horse looked fed up with big Hollywood mistreatment on writers and actors, so he took to the streets to demand better rights for everyone. As you can see, this history strike was an eventful one, 
but we are thankful justice prevailed and the writers and actors will get their first share of the profits that big Hollywood studios had been guzzling up. Congratulations to everyone involved!